Splee Team. Yeah, no, this is a good old Splee Team classic. If you don't remember who Splee Team is, go just check him out. Really good team. So let's just go ahead and start playing the game. Huh. Hey. Into the Aether Classic. Oh. <laughs> Super D Stars, this is Super D Far! And welcome back to Into the Aether Classic. Today we're gonna be playing Into the Aether Classic. You know what? Just play the game. Uh, this is like an RPG, I think. I don't know. This is not a demo. Into the Aether Classic is our first standalone game created as a passion project in high school. We spent two years of our lives in, on this game, day in and day out, until its release in 2018. Oh, interesting. It was around that time we began attending college for game design and realized that RPG Maker could not contain our creative vision for the game. Nevertheless, the original version of this game is still very important to us, so we wanted to preserve its legacy, so we have decided to revamp the demo and re-release it as Into the Aether Classic. We hope you enjoy this experience. Oh, that's really cool. This is it, Miss Daybreak. You've come all this way. I've been waiting for you to arrive. Who even are you again? You're just a stranger. What even is your name? Please name your character. Keep in mind that she is female. Celeste? That's what the game wants me to name my character? No way. We're naming her Super D. Far? No, dude. I can't name her that. Dang. We're naming her Defar. Amazing. <laughs> Very well then. Defar, you, you have caused me the most pain. I do not appreciate that. Shocking for someone like you. It's time to prove yourself to me. Prove yourself, Defar. I think I can. Very much so. I'm very... Ooh. That looks really... That looks so beautiful. To the Aether, created by Jacob Melendez and Paul Riggio. Riggio! Dang it, I'm sorry. That's a real name. You can't just play with real names like that, Defar. People get upset. They think you're pouring dirt on your name when you're actually thinking that it's, like, really cool. I don't know. I think the name's really cool. That's all I gotta say. Six little dots. So, first day of school, huh? How are you feeling, Defar? I'm alright. <laughs> nervous is all. Hey, why are you nervous? You're meeting your friends in real life for the first time. I thought maybe you'd be a bit more excited. It's just, well, they've never seen me in person. It's just, well, they've never seen me in person. <laughs> I accidentally repeated myself. What if they think I'm... Oh, please. They'll think you're amazing. Just look at you. Don't worry about a thing, Defar. Do you think they'll th like me? Well, of course they like you. You're their friend. It's not like your friends are bad people, are they? Yeah, I know. Should I tell them about what happened? You mean the bite of 87? <laughs> Was that the bite of 87? Mm. Oh, okay. I see. I'm covering up words, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna mention it. It doesn't really matter anyway. I'm just gonna hang out right here while you guys can see the story. Okay, that's good. I'll try not to worry too much about it. Dot 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 da 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 da. There's one thing I wanted to tell you. Having lots of friends is a huge responsibility, but sometimes your friends might do things that you don't agree with. I had a lot of friends in my day who got me into a lot of trouble. Eventually I decided to be more responsible, and, but unfortunately, not all my friends did. That is very true about the friends thing, I've definitely experienced that. Look, my point is, 
if you see anyone doing something you don't feel is right. That's no good. You need to try your best to help them out. I want your friends just as well behaved as you are. It's not just about keeping yourself out of trouble. You need to keep your friends out of trouble too. So don't let them do anything stupid, okay? Well, I'm sure they wouldn't do anything dumb. Would they? I doubt it. But I still figured it was important to know. The thought just came to me. The destination is to your right. Starry Hill Public High School. Anyway, looks like we're here. Be safe, okay? Tell me how it went when you come home. Okay, Mom. See ya. You left the car and went straight for school. You left the car and went straight for school. I keep repeating myself. After morning classes, you headed for the school cafeteria. Time to move myself back into the corner. Hey. Am I gonna show up? I showed up. Am I on time? This seems to be a lone, empty can of garbage. You can peek inside and only one sheet of paper is there. Dang. Even the sheet of paper inside the garbage can is lonely. Oh, you must be the new girl. The far, right? I like your outfit. It's cute. Aw, thank you. Through the window, you can make out some students eating their lunch. Hmm, I wonder what happens if I go to the... Okay, no, never mind. I guess it's school time. What's this paper say? There's a poorly tagged poster on the wall. It seems to be advertising some sort of event. Hello, fellow cosplayers! Our monthly cosplay day theme this time is... Fantasy. The person with the best costume will earn a free 450GX gift card to Space Mart. Happy cosplaying! You now, fair people, may mistake your robes for cosplay. Oh boy. I feel like we made a mistake wearing this. This door is locked. This guy is making fun of my wizard cosplay. I worked so hard on it. Dang, that's tough. Wait, wizard? He's a wizard? I thought he was an elf, dude. That weird kid has the worst cosplay I've ever seen. Kinda agree, but I wouldn't say it to his face. Hey, you, you're the new girl in school. Yeah? I heard some people <laughs> have been waiting for a, a far daybreak in this cafeteria. What does that mean? This girl, her name is Trinity. She especially has, why is, it na why is the name purple? Been waiting for ya. She's a weird w one. Always picking about with them strange costumes, wearing them short skirts. She totally full of herself, man. And the worst part, that everybody likes the this moron. Dang, you calling her a moron. Did you hear she's a grass eater too? What's wrong with the eating grass? It's a plant. You know the plantists that eat grass. And that's it. I kinda feel bad, you know? She'll never eat bread again. They eat grass and that's it? Don't you mean they eat grass? I think you've just lost all your credibility. Yeah, true. Hey, I've heard that sound effect before. Someone's wearing a wizard hat. Or a witch hat, I guess. The far. Is that you? You are the far daybreak. <laughs> I like how I just realized that's my last name now. Daybreak. <laughs> I like the how it's the far daybreak. <laughs> oh my gosh. Trinity. I can't believe I'm finally meeting you in person. I can't believe it either. You look really cute. Yeah. I guess you guys never really got to see what I look like in real life. But hey, I'm here now. And by the way, you look amazing as well. Aw, thank you. I'm really happy I met all of you. 
I was having a rough time back then. You guys showed up when I needed you all the most. It really meant a lot to me. What? Really? What happened? Well, um, it's hard to talk about. Maybe I'll tell you later. Aw, it's okay, Defar. If you don't want to tell anyone, that's totally fine. We'll have your back. Why don't we go meet the others? Everybody has been wondering what you look like. Ricky still thinks you're actually a guy. Huh. Online meetings, am I right? Okay. Just lead me to where they sit. I'll take an empty seat. Sure. Hey guys, look who showed up. It's me, the Far Bay Break. <laughs> nice to see you guys. Uh, is that just my canon last name now? The uh, To make my last name Defar Daybreak? Why don't we all introduce ourselves? Yo, is that the real Defar Daybreak? I see. How you doing? Hey, Clarence. It's so cool to finally see you in real life. Wait. You're a girl? Ricky, of course she is. I knew that. <laughs> Calm down. It was just a joke. <laughs> Laugh, it's a joke. Laugh, it's a joke. Hey, Defar, I'm, I'm Jake. You probably haven't seen me around, eh? No, I haven't. I just got birthed yesterday. No, I've seen you around. You're pretty cool. Really? Wow, thanks a lot. Whoa, weird outfit. I love it. I actually wove it myself. It's went through some small changes over the years, but I've been wearing this since I was very young. You wove it yourself, and you've been wearing it since you were young. Okay, that's a very interesting thing. By the way, I'm Jojo. Jojo Siwa. Uh, you know me, right? You bet. Wait, but isn't wearing a robe, like, that kind of weird? I mean, wouldn't people judge you for that? Guys, if you're wearing a robe in public, I will not judge you. Unless that's the only thing that you're wearing, then I'll judge you. That that was a weird thing to say. I, I'm going back to the game. Maybe. Thanks for your concern, though. Ricky, come on. She just came here. Give her a day break. <laughs> Dude. Hey, I'm just saying. Don't pay them any mind. By the way, I'm Seth. Seth Curry. Nice to meet you, pal. So, like, why did you have to hide yourself on the internet? There's nothing wrong with how you look. You're pretty sweet amigo, if I do say so myself. Really? Aw, thanks guys. Yeah, don't worry about what people think. You look great. Hey, why don't you come sit down? You don't need to stand all day. Sure. Okay. Oh, I gotta go manually sit down? Nah. Hey, where do you think you're going? <laughs> I was just getting some lunch, dude. I wanted to get lunch. So hey, you liking it here at Starry Hill? Yeah, it is pretty nice. I mean, living on top of a high mountain is pretty scary, but I'll get used to it. Well, I mean, at least the view is incredible here. You'll be fine, I promise. What's wrong? Are you afraid of heights or something? Not really. Y yeah. Yes, I am. I am afraid of heights. Um, do you know that I was afraid of heights? <laughs> well... I guess you're out of luck then, kid. Came to the wrong town. Oh man. That's not encouraging. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But seriously, you'll be fine. 
Don't worry, it's alright. I'll get used to it. You definitely will. Everybody gets used to it. Heck, even I got used to it. Well, Ricky still hasn't gotten used to it. Hey, but... No, that's not true. I'm Ricky. Yeah, whatever you say. Uh, wow, I don't appreciate all this bullying that's going on. What bullying? Well, I don't appreciate your mom. Okay, now that's bullying. That went too far. You didn't have to do that. Your mom jokes, they're so 2015. Couldn't think of anything better, Jojo. Shut it. You know, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> you couldn't think of anything better, Jojo. <laughs> Starry Hills, just okay to me. I prefer Midpoint, to be honest. It's a very nice city. What are you talking about? Starry Hills, the best place to be. I mean, Midpoint's alright. Not the best. Haven't you ever been there? No. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not like I need to have been there to know it's lame. So, what have you guys all been up to? Like, like, you know, about monthly cosplay day, right, Defar? Yes, I am aware. That's a really good outfit, if I do say so myself. Thanks, but I'm really tired today. I worked on this outfit so hard my blood sweat and tears in it i think i finished it around midnight too bad there's nothing to eat here i didn't eat last night so we we went to the cafeteria oh you know what no no, no. There, there is nothing ever to eat at cafeterias in schools so never mind trinity there's plenty to eat this is a cafeteria i'm not eating the animal product garbage are you kidding me oh are you a vegetarian or something? Or, I mean, actually vegan. Yeah, vegetarian and vegan is very different, guys. Trust me on that one. I've always been iffy about all this vegan stuff, but to be completely honest, there's nothing wrong with it. No. No, Jake. You can't say that. She's the only vegan here. She'll get upset. Yeah, I don't know about that. Guys, I can hear you. I really don't care. I'm curious. The far, what's your opinion about vegans? Your mom. What? I don't agree with any of these opinions. Uh, I'm just like, hey, you know what? <laughs> as long as you're not like, I don't know. Do I really have to give my opinion about vegans now that I started this sentence? Alright, I'll do it. I don't usually do these types of things, but here you go. My opinion on vegans is that if you want to go vegan, you should go vegan, but you shouldn't make other people go vegan along with you. But the people who are eating like the meat products should know the process of where it comes from and how it's made. Alright, there you go. That's my opinion on vegans. There you go. Put it in the books. Your mom. Uh... Your mother. <laughs> wow, Defar, really hitting an all-time high with these jokes today. Nice, Defar. Real nice. It looks like Jojo has been negatively influencing you. I thought I told you to shut up. Listen, Jojo. You made her like this. You can't back down now. Hold on, I'm just joking. I'm not actually that stupid. Oh, thank goodness. Anything else going on? Honestly, not a lot, whole lot has been going on lately. Yeah, nothing too interesting is going on in our lives right now. When our lives change through graduation. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. I mean, the far is interesting. She's certainly been the highlight of the year. Oh, it's very interesting to be referred to as she. Oh yeah, that reminds me. But then I remi remember that <laughs> I'm not being referred to. She's being referred to. You're being referred to too. I'm right here. Hey Johnny. 
Right, what, what crack am I on? Seriously, sometimes. I've been keeping something a secret for quite a while now. What is it? We wanted to throw a party for the far today at my house. Really? Oh my goodness. Wow. I... Wow. I wasn't expecting that. And I've also whipped up something special just for you. I think you'll be impressed. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm being treated so nicely today. Everyone can still come, right? I know it may be a little last minute for you, though, Defar. Yeah, you bet. Maybe I was planning on doing things today, but I'll come anyway. What? What things were you planning? What's better than throwing a surprise party for me? Super Defar! <laughs> Yeah, everyone who shows up here is a part of a surprise party for me. I throw my own surprise parties. Yeah, I can still come. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, of course, I can still come. I wouldn't flake out now. What about you, Defar? I'm gonna have to be staying really late after school to catch up with my classes. I may be really late. Yeah, I get that. Come whenever you want. Hey, Defar. I'll wait for you after school so I can show you the route to Trinity's house. Not gonna let you get lost on your first day. Plus, you'll get more used to, ta to the town. That would be nice. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Alright, the period is over. I'm gonna get going now. Hope to see you all later today. I'll see everyone later tonight. It was great meeting you all here today. Prologue. Girls of Magic. Save your game. And with that, you know, with me and the RPGs, you know, after every save, we go ahead and we end the video. If you like this video, you know you should leave it a like. And if you want to become a Super D star, then you should subscribe. This is Super D Far. Peace out. That was a very interesting noise.